was admired by Ms. Marion, Marion Ryan to make my speech five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> I can use for you to go ahead. I do not know how to tell time. <laughs> <laughs> but I will try to make it my best. I think most of the people deserve to be honored and be named. And if I start naming, I'm going to leave at least a bunch of odds, so I'm going to try to name I'm going to try to tell that I came from a little school of about 60 or 70 students. Graduated from, high, from uh, elementary, five students, four boys and a girl. Went to a high school of 3,000. This little country boy was ready to go home every <laughs> single hour. We were taught to walk. <coughs> Excuse me, may I? I'm in high school. We ran out of the rooms and here I stood, waiting to be let out. Uh -uh. Soon I found out, you better run. Or let's get around over. So we did. We managed. Well, somehow I went through high school. And I know how. The grace of God. It's the only way. Then came a real strange word into my life, college. What in the world was that word in there? Well, here again the good Lord comes in and says, Rudy, here's Mr. Sam Alexander, who was a professor at Laredo Junior College. He puts the question, Rudy, really, after, after you graduate, what are you going to do? Work. What else? Where? Here in this school, in this uh, department store that your dad, that your uncle run. You go to college? What? College. He took him by the hand and took me to Laredo Junior College. Old armed barracks that the government set up to keep Pancho Villa out of Mexico. That was a very good topic. Our library was the chapel of the, of the tour. Fortunately, I went through two years of regular college. One word almost kept me out of college. That word was tuition. <laughs> what is that? You have to pay to go to college as one. <laughs> so I went home. I said, Dad, Mom, I'm going to college. OK, God bless you. <laughs> I said, Dad, I have to pay. My dad was a very, very quiet person. Smiled once in a while. He said, son. There's eight of us in the family, and I'm the only one that works. Don't ask me for money. I just don't have it. A lady by the name of Mother is a don't worry. Go. We'll find a way. I looked at my daddy, and this is what he said to my mom. He never raised his voice to his mom or mistreated her. He took my says, tu lo subes a la burra y yo lo <laughs> What does it mean? You get him on the donkey, I have to get him off. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Well, you won't believe it, but I'm telling you, tuition was $25 a semester. There was a whole enchilada, you know. <laughs>
Then came two horrible words in your life. You're going to senior college, A and I in Kingsdale. The words were room and board. <laughs> okay, what's that? You have to pay for the room that you're living in and the food that you're eating. Where is the money come from? That's your problem, really. Oh my God, here we go. Well, I managed to go one year full time at AI. My senior year was Saturdays and Sundays. Seven long years to get my degree. Rudy, will you do it again? I'll do it again. They love my children and the care of my children. Because we believed in them. You wanted for them the best we could do. The beautiful wife, it was an easy job, no problem. She taught 47, I taught 43. Together and I Two things I remember from her, number one, telling my kids, kids, we did not raise a family of quitters. So nobody quits. You're going to go all the way, <coughs> whatever you decide to do. No fears. And number two, we going to school is not an option. You have to go. Somehow, they got the message. All four of my children, three of them here, one is in Tampa, Florida, or college graduate. Easy. Not always not easy. But I found out that the good things in life 